Welcome to this QuickBooks Online Products and Services List training tutorial video. My name is Matt Holtquist with the QuickBooks University. And so in this video, I want to introduce you to the Products and Services List and what it's used for and how to add a new product or service. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do when you're in QuickBooks Online here in the dashboard, go over to Sales. Okay, and you'll see the, the four options up here. You've got products and services, okay? So the products and services list is really, really important because this is um, what is going to go on your invoices for when you, or your sales receipts for when you sell something, okay? So if you're a service business, you're going to set up these different services and you're, and I'll show you here in a second, but you're going to attach this to a uh, a revenue item. Okay. So like income for a business, uh, same thing with, uh, if you have some inventory, uh, you're going to do the same thing. And, um, so when you sell those items, it's going to go on to an invoice or a sales receipt, and that way you can track your income. Okay. So the, the products and services list really, really important. Okay. So when we're on this screen here, um, you know, we've got a couple of different options. When you look at the items you've got here, you can click this drop down. You can make these inactive, run a report, or even duplicate them. And you can also edit them. Okay. And if you look up here, you've got the more drop down. Uh, you, you can set up different categories. Okay. Uh, so if you have different uh, types of services uh, or different types of products that you're selling. You can set up different categories and you can also run a report. Okay. And then over here with new, you can click this drop down. You can import products and services. Okay. So if you already have a products and service listing that you want to import into QuickBooks Online, you can do that. Okay. But let's say new. All right. So when you start off with QuickBooks Online, you've got to set up these products and services. So you've got these four categories. Uh, the first one is inventory, uh, which is just stuff that you buy and sell that you want to track quantities. Okay. So if you have a certain number of items that you need to track, you're going to set it up as inventory. Okay. Non-inventory. These are items that you buy uh, and sell, but you don't need to, or you just can't track the quantities of. It says on here, for example, nuts and bolts used in an installation. Okay. Um, I had somebody email me um, or, or message me about this recently, uh, and it was a, a solar uh, panel company. You know, they install the solar panels and they sell all that, and they have a lot of nuts and bolts that go kind of with an installation, but they don't track those for inventory purposes, and they don't sell them individually. That's an, an example of a non-inventory part, okay? You've got services, uh, pretty self-explanatory. And then a bundle, which is a collection of products or services you sell together. All right. So we're going to set up for, for this uh, example, we're going to set up a service and we simply call it um, whatever the name of it is. Let's say if I can spell that right. Installation labor. Okay. We don't have a, a SKU for that. Uh, we're going to select a category if we have categories set up in the sample file. Okay, so we're going to say that this is uh, sprinklers installation labor. Okay, sell this product or service to my customers. So this is going to be the description on the sales form. All right, so when you bring up an invoice or a sales receipt, this is what it's going to say. Okay, so we're going to say installation labor uh, sprinklers. Okay. The sales price or the rate, we're going to say that this is uh, $40. Okay. And the income account. So this is where it's going to tie back to where it's going to track on your profit and loss. Okay. So in this example company file, we've just got these uh, different categories. I'm going to choose services, but you can, you know, obviously you set up your chart of accounts, how you're going to track your income. So we'll just call this services. This is not taxable because it's a service and you do not purchase this product or service from a vendor. Now, of course, if you do, if you subcontract that out, you can put that uh, cost and expense account, which is typically going to be a cost of goods sold or something along those lines. Uh, and you can put in a preferred vendor. Okay. So for this case, we're not going to, we're going to save and close. All right. <clears throat> so now we've got our, 
uh, labor installation. Let's see if I can find it down here. Here it is, installation labor under sprinklers, that $40, okay? So now if I were to go do an invoice and I'm going to do a new invoice, all right, so let's, uh, I'll just pick a customer and we're gonna say products and services. We'll see our installation labor here, okay, 40. And let's say that's $40 an hour, and let's say it was 10, 10 hours, 400 bucks. All right, simple as that. All right, let me close this. And I'm gonna show you just briefly. Now, if you're gonna set up a inventory item, okay, you're gonna go through the same process. You've got the name, category. If you have an initial quantity uh, on hand, and a reorder point, which is when it gets low, it's going to tell you when to order. Okay. The inventory asset account, because when you buy this stuff, it goes to an asset, which is inventory. And then it uh, is cost of goods sold when you sell it. Again, just like services, you've got sales information, sales price, uh, what account it's going to. And then in this case, typically a product that you sell is going to be taxable. So you're going to put that information in and you can put in the purchasing information. All right, so easy as that. Uh, if you have any questions whatsoever, leave me a comment below. Uh, I will answer your questions. Uh, also for complete training on QuickBooks Online as well as QuickBooks Desktop, head on over to the QuickBooks University uh, where I not only train you in on-demand tutorials, uh, but I also answer your personal questions. For whatever questions you have on QuickBooks, I answer those myself. Website is qbuniversity.org, and I will talk to you soon.